It's the middle of the day, you got an outgoing tight, and I'd been monitoring this little girl on a bodyboard. Might be in now. Yeah, Hop, you'll be in for sure, mate. She's freaking out. So Hop gets out there to make the rescue, and as he does, the water starts to move a bit, and before you know it, we've just got a large volume of people in the water that can't swim. The rest of the beach is super dangerous. So to just hurry things along a bit, I just send Boo in. It might be worth going for a paddle, Boo. Yeah, I'll go for a paddle. See this wave get us. Hang on. Of course, on the wave, out, Boo ends up grabbing a different new patient. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, 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 yet doesn't signal for backup. By this time in the tower, I'm starting to get a bit stressed out. It's about five or six people caught in this rip. As well as the four swimmers clinging to Hoppo's board, another four are looking for direction out of the rip. Hoppo's got probably eight, maybe nine patients. But I don't think he's concerned one bit about it. I've got the aircon on full blast because I'm overheating up there, and Hoppo's just out there lounging around, <laughs> waiting for someone to paddle out a mojito or something to him. Bad lose, Manny. Unsure why the boss is remaining so cool. We're all sweet, Palmer. We'll get there. Yeah, Gons, can you go down and grab the board? Yeah. Finally. Hoppo reveals the secret behind his cool composure. We were drifting quite easily to the sandbank, and I knew that I could get the whole nine there without having any backup. In here, guys, we'll drift over to the bank, OK? Don't go that way, that way. Hoppo, the master waterman, knows exactly where the rip will take everyone, as long as they stay calm. Any other lifeguard probably would have waited for some assistance, but he knew he could handle the situation one out. Right, we'll be outside soon. Okay, let's keep walking. Six swimmers need nothing more than Hoppo's calm directions. The remaining four disembark with the boss. I don't think I've ever seen a lifeguard have that many patients and not even paddle one stroke. All right, there you go. But he pulled it off with minimal effort, as he always does.